Okay guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Velox Tactical 2 Assault Pack. This is what I have in the car uh, for a get home bag for my wife. We're going to be reviewing the pack today, so let's get to it. And before we start this video, please check my other review on my sling pack. And what I carry from my get home bag on that sling pack. So let's get into it on um, to this backpack. Again, this is a 3V gear um, assault Velox Tactical 2. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're reviewing the 3V gear Velox 2 Tactical Assault Pack. Um, ag again, I have like three of these 3V gear bags. Um, I like them a lot. There's only one thing I do not like about them, but um, we'll get into it in a little bit. Um, so, if you guys haven't checked my other video on the sling pack, I did a review on the sling pack. You guys want to go check that out there um, on my previous videos. I'll put a link to that below. So, let's start with the outside of the bag. So, I know the bag is built to a standard for heavy duty 600D PVC back polyester. So, basically, it's water resistant waterproof um i can show you the lining and so on i'll show you the lining so if you can see that it's kind of um water resistant and i'll show you more in the inside i think more of the bag is kind of like that too um it's pretty roomy as a big compartment i think the main compartment is uh 972 cubic inches which is this one right here then you got the secondary big compartment right here which this one is 380 cubic inches um, and I think the lower one is uh, this this top front one is uh, 96 cubic inches and the lower front is 180 cubic inches so I think this whole pack together is a uh, 27 liters which is pretty big and um, you could actually let me take this zipper right here this is what i like about this this too it has um these buckles right here but if you really want to pack that in there you can see it's pretty pretty big but if you don't want to pack a lot of stuff it's pretty pretty compact up to you how you want to do it but it has uh nice padded uh shoulders as you can see uh for me they're pretty good they're not they're not that bad and it has this nice EVA molted back panel. I think that's what they call this. So basically it's air ventilated with the little gaps in between. So air gets into your back. Um, it also has adjustable hip and sternum straps. So basically you could uh, balance out the weight from your shoulders to your hips. That's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about this bag is the supposedly heavy duty zippers. The, the, the zippers are pretty nice, but it's basically, how could I put this? This is a paracord. They're, they're always coming off. Um, I know on one of these, as you can see right here, they're pretty flimsy and weak. Um, that's something that they should fix on the, in the future. It's a um, Molly compatible, as you can see. It has their logo right here in the front, the American flag. What else? Let's see. And here in the top, it has a reinforced drag handle, so you can see. I think uh, it's double stitched on some parts. I'm, I can't really be sure about that, but you see the really thick stitches on there. So if you want to drag this. Um, it's also hydration compatible. I know you could bring it out. You could put it in here in there this whole thing opens up so you could put your uh, your hydration pack in there or you could put it in the inside where you could uh has like a laptop thing in there you could also put it in there but up to you and it also comes with top and sided compression straps like i said it's really roomy but if you don't, if you want to keep everything nice and tight, you can just click all those together, 
and um, tighten that up. But yeah, that's mostly the the outside aspect of this bag. So let's just show you the inside of this. So like I said, the top the top front is 96 cubic inches. It's a uh, pretty big in there uh, I could say probably four inches probably three inches in width um, I think I put my first aid kit in here I'm not really sure the second one is 180 cubic feet it has internal pockets and you know little dividers for like pans or knives or whatever and again, I could show you that material on the inside, so supposedly to keep it water, waterproof. It's nothing. Another compression strap. And my water tablets. Uh, and a few other stuff in there. I'm gonna be showing you guys in a on a different video. Um, my get to my get home back for my wife. This is actually hers, like I said. And um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the gear I have in here in a separate video. So if you guys would like to comment and subscribe on that, then the biggest pack is where you have a nice, a nice, a lot of big pockets in there. Again, like I said, if uh, that's probably for the laptop right there, and you can see us like a little strap to keep it in place but I should use it for my hydration pack because the back where I showed you guys earlier I used to have a tarp in there for emergency shelter but I used it for a rainy situation so I gotta replace that tarp in there and what I like about this backpack it opens up pretty wide so you can see that that's probably 80% and um, it's really big nothing no it's just basically the laptop compartment in there but it's really big like I said you want to fit a lot of stuff in here you can water resistant I love this backpacks uh, the reason I buy them they're they're affordable uh, compared to Maxpedition uh, you get what you paid for like I said my only concern is just those paracord straps but other than that these backpacks work great I think this has been sitting in my car around I think this is the first backpack I got before the sling pack but then I got the sling pack and I made this one for my wife um, and this has been sitting in my car for about two years uh, rolling around in the back now we have a stroller in there too because we just had a baby and it's still in very good condition and another thing I like about them they're a uh, they have life warranty as long as you can show a proof of receipt <clears throat> anything happens to this backpack they'll either fix it or replace it and um, they come in, in, a, in a, available in a, in a lot of different colors like olive black foliage gray I don't know what that means but they have that color and coyote tan so if this is not for you you know you want to get a basic black one for an urban environment uh, you could do that or grow in the wilderness uh, or in the snow you could pick that foliage gray but yeah this is my wife's bag um, and this is a review for the Velux the Velux 2 tactical assault pack so, uh, like I said, um, I'm going to be posting the video showing the content of what's inside here. So, please stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.